Apoptosis is a form of programmed cell death and is critical for numerous normal physiological processes including cellular homeostasis, embryogenesis, and post-embryonic development. Apoptosis is characterized by several biochemical features including cell shrinkage, membrane blebbing, chromosome condensation, nuclear fragmentation, DNA laddering and the eventual engulfment of the cell by phagosomes. The apoptotic process involves a sequence of cell shrinkage, increased cytoplasmic density, chromatin compaction, and segregation into sharply circumscribed masses that abut on the nuclear membrane and can form blister-like protrusions. The latter then separate to produce membrane-bound apoptotic bodies. These morphological changes can be detected using the electron microscope. The application of quantitative digital imaging techniques to electron microscopy enables the detection of even subtle changes in nuclear densities. Membrane blebbing in apoptotic bodies can also be seen by simple phase contrast light microscopy. Another versatile tool is confocal laser scanning microscopy, powerful for both morphological analysis and macromolecular localization. It is a relatively reliable and inexpensive method for detecting apoptotic cells. The plethora of information provided is wide, may be useful for subsequent biochemical or molecular studies, furnishing important controls for the experiment. Quantitative measurement lacks objectivity and reproducibility. The procedure is time-consuming and is fairly expensive. Many samples cannot be analyzed, it requires laborious preparation. Because only a small area can be visualized, quantification of the extent of apoptosis is also difficult. The loss of cellular membrane asymmetry is an early sign of apoptosis, where an embedded phosphatidylserine PS, residues in the plasma membrane become externalized and signal phagocytosis. NXNV is a calcium-dependent protein that preferentially binds phosphatidylserine with high affinity. Fluorochrome conjugated NXNV, in particular, is a commonly used tool to detect and quantify the PS exposure characteristic. Often, NXNV binding is paired with cell viability reagents such as propidium iodide (PI) that are normally not able to penetrate the plasma membrane to differentiate between apoptotic and necrotic cells. The binding of fluorochrome conjugated annex in V to exposed PS can be detected by flow cytometry or fluorescence microscopy. Easy, rapid, and accurate quantitation of apoptosis in both viable and fixed single cells. Explain the relationship between induction of apoptosis by different agents and their cell cycle phase specificity. Very time consuming as it has multiple steps and is quantitative. Therefore, Intact tissues usually require pretreatment with an enzyme to release the individual cells for analysis. The caspase family of highly conserved cysteine proteases plays an essential role in apoptosis. Initially synthesized as inactive procaspases, caspases become rapidly cleaved and activated in response to granzyme B, death receptors and apoptosome stimuli. Activation of caspases can be detected using multiple methods depending on the instrumentation available and how the sample has been prepared. Antibody-based methods The ability to detect active caspase relies on the specificity of the antibody and where the epitope is located. If the antibody recognizes an epitope found in both the pro and active forms of the caspase, you will only be able to differentiate both forms by visualization in western blot. Substrate-based methods Biochemical substrates contain a specific cleavage sequence that is recognized by the caspase and is covalently attached to a colorimetric or fluorogenic detection probe. Upon cleavage of the substrates by the cognate caspase, the colorimetric or fluorogenic compound is liberated producing an increase in absorbance or fluorescence light. Calpanes are cytosolic calcium-dependent cysteine proteases composed of one or two subunits. Cathepsins are generally found in lysosomes, and most cathepsins are cysteine proteases. Calpane and cathepsin activity can be easily detected in many cell types using a specific calpane slash cathepsin substrate linked to a colorimetric or fluorogenic detection molecule that will be released upon cleavage of the substrate. Detection of active protease in situ is an easy, sensitive, and reliable method for quantifying apoptosis. Protease activation can be detected in a variety of ways including western blot, immunoprecipitation and immunohistochemistry. This technique allows selection for individual initiator or execution caspases. It also allows for rapid and consistent quantification of apoptotic cells. 
the integrity of the sample is destroyed thereby eliminating the possibility of localizing the apoptotic event within the tissue or determining the type of cell that is undergoing apoptosis. Caspase activation does not necessarily indicate that apoptosis will occur. Moreover, there is tremendous overlap in the substrate preferences of the members of the caspase family, affecting the specificity of the assay. In addition to changes in nuclear morphology, loss of DNA integrity also characterizes apoptosis. At the late stage of apoptosis, caspase activated endonucleases cause double stranded DNA breaks. These apoptotic nucleosome fragments can be resolved by gel electrophoresis as typical DNA ladders. TUNLSA utilizes TDT to mark those breakpoints with tagged nucleotides, which are then detected using enzyme tagged, for HC, or fluorescently labeled, for fax, antibodies. The reactions are based on the direct labeling of 3-hydroxyl termini of DNA breaks, and thus the lesions measured are identifiable at the molecular level. The DNA breaks occur very early in apoptosis, prior to changes in cell morphology, therefore, these assays can be applied to study the very early events of apoptosis. Precise in the determination of cell death and DNA damage. DNA ladder assay and tunnel staining have high sensitivity. Provide qualitative rather than quantitative results. These procedures have multiple steps and require more time. The sensitivities and specificities of these techniques depend on fixative used, pretreatment and concentration of terminal transferase enzyme. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.